Lesson 14, Planning for the Future. In this lesson, you will learn how to plan for future expenses and purchases, use the Quicken Planner, plan to reduce your debt, use Quicken's financial calculators, create a budget, use the forecasting tools, and create and use savings goals. The tutorial, we will show you how to use the Quicken Planner to plan for retirement and life's big purchases. Select the planning menu. Select the Go to Planning Center menu item. By default, the Include Spouse checkbox is selected to include your spouse in the planner as well. Deselect it if you don't want your spouse included. Fill out the form. Your retirement age is the age at which you want to retire. You can calculate your life expectancy by filling out the rest of the form and clicking the Calculate button. Fill out the form and select the Life Expectancy for Plan text box to calculate your average life expectancy. You can edit this number to reflect your life expectancy. It is a good idea to plan for more years than the average calculated lifespan in case you live longer than average. Click OK to save your life expectancy. Here you can enter any children or dependents you have or are planning on having. Click the New button to add dependents. Enter in the name and date of birth of your dependent. If it is a future planned dependent, you can add in the approximate date of birth for your dependent. Click OK to save. We will now add our spouse to the planner. Select the Include Spouse checkbox. Enter in your spouse's information. Here we can see the planning section of the financial overview section. Here are your planning alerts. Here are your plan results. Until you have filled in enough information for Quicken to calculate your results, they will not be displayed. We will see the result of our plan a little later in the chapter. Here are your plan assumptions. This is what we need to finish to create a plan. We finished the first part about you. We will now select the income section. Fill out the salary dialog box. Roll over an item to get more information. Roll the mouse over a question or selection box to learn more about each section. Select the Already Started item. Select the Sarah Girth Retires 12 2035 item. Select the self employed radio button. Click OK to add this salary. Click New and follow the same process to add another salary. To make adjustments to your salary for promotions, time off, or other of life's changes, click New or Edit as appropriate. Click the Retirement Benefits tab. In this tab, we can enter our retirement benefits. Here, we can estimate our Social Security benefit. If you think that Social Security benefits will be reduced in the future, you can lower the amount of benefit expected. Click Estimate for you or your spouse to estimate the amount of the benefit. Fill out your information and click OK. Do the same for your spouse. If you or your spouse are receiving pension benefits, you can enter them here. Click the Other Income tab. If you are receiving other sources of income, Child support, alimony, trust fund distributions, gifts, etc. Enter them here. Click Done to save and exit. 